Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGamiac.com. Here we are today in the Hearthfire DLC for Skyrim, doing the first part of the Master Architect achievement, which is to build three houses. In each part, I will be showing you how to build a separate house. So we're starting with the first house. As soon as you start the DLC, you will be given a letter by a courier, and this letter is from the Jarl of Dawnstar. So what you want to do is you want to read it, and as per its instructions, it tells you to go to Dawnstar to talk to the Jarl. So what you want to do is you want to head to the Jarl's house and then talk to her and then ask her about the land for sale and then she should sell it to you for 5,000 gold. So what you want to do is you want to buy it and you should get your first achievement for a 10 gamer score. And the, there it is. It's called Landowner. And then what I recommend doing is heading to Whiterun and heading to the Companions Guild area. So it's called Jorvisker. And you want to go inside and you either want to talk to Ayala, the Huntress, or Vilkis and ask them to follow you. The reason for this is you need a Stuart to make this achievement super easier. That way you don't have to walk to get supplies. And for some reason Farkas doesn't count as a Stuart. So you have to get Vilkis or I Ayala. Head to your new plot of land and you will find a crafting table here. So go up to the drafting table and make a small house layout. Then what you want to do is you want to go over to this treasure chest, open it up and take whatever is inside. You should see some new materials. Go to the anvil and now you'll see a new section called building materials. You want to build a couple of these materials. You use these to make houses basically. Build a lot of nails. You want to have a lot of iron ingots and conundrum ingots on you. So I recommend going to every blacksmith and stocking up on iron ingots and conundrum ingots. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the crafting table and then just build everything until you run out of stuff to build. And if you run out of supplies, what you can do is you can ask your follower to become a steward of your mansion. And then you can buy materials off of them. Uh, and the three materials you can buy off of them are lumber, stone, and clay. Normally, you either have to mine for them or walk really far to a mill to get lumber. So having a steward saves you just a bunch of time. You are going to need a ton of money for this achievement, by the way. And any materials you buy from the steward will end up in the chest. Once you have the house built, you can go back to the drafting table to add the main hall. And then you can go back to your crafting table and start building the main hall pretty much the same way as you did with the house components. Every time you need materials, just go to the anvil and make more nails or locks or iron framings. If you need any of the lumber, clay, or stone, you can go uh, buy some from your steward. Anyways, once you have the main hall done, you need to add wings, so we're going to start off with the first wing. You have east, north, and west, and you can only b choose one at a time. So just like the house and the main hall, you got to build all of the parts, and these require various materials. Once again, if you need them, you, you have to either go to the anvil or go talk to your steward to get more parts. If you ever run out of iron ingots or conundrum ore, you have to go mine it, or you can buy it from blacksmiths. If you ever run out of lumber, stone, or clay, you can buy some from your steward, or you can mine it. But this will take a buttload of materials, so I recommend buying them in bulk so you don't have to constantly backtrack. It's a lot of back and forth if you don't know what to buy exactly, so just buy a lot. You know, you're going to need a lot of money for this achievement, and build a lot of nails, and uh, that's my best advice. So once you get to the third wing built, you should b complete your first house and get your achievement for Architect for 10 gamer score. And that's all there is for this part. Don't forget to check back soon for more.